shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like a sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me, baby? I can't help. Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks, back in another GTA 5 online video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this deadline out for here with the black joggers and the CEO vest using the transfer glitch after the latest patch 1.51 So with this video, before this starts, you will need to know how to get the CEO vest because that's what you will need for this glitch so I'll leave a link in the description on how to get it and anyways, if you guys do go to enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and also comment down below if you like this outfit or if you want to see any other outfits in particular So before we get in as well, this will delete all of your outfits so make sure you have an outfit on that you don't want to lose then once you've done that, I'll just see you guys once you have the outfit on. So once you have your outfit on, you want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu, go to online, then you want to go down to the swap character se um, section, then you want to go ahead and just select that, and then wait till you load in. So I will just take a couple of seconds, then you should see these two characters walk out. So it should be our main character, then like a second character. So if you don't already have a second character, you want to go ahead and press X or A to start editing the second character. If you do already have a second character, then just delete it. Then if you get that um, copy rank uh, pop up on your screen, just go ahead and accept that because some clothes like you need a high level to unlock. So now if it's a male for you, just go ahead and switch it to female, but it is already a female for me, so if it's already a uh, female for you, press save and continue, then just load into GTA Online. So I'll see you guys once I'm in GTA Online. So now once you guys load into GTA Online, uh, you want to bring up your pause menu. I accidentally went and got a car straight away, but you want to bring up your pause menu to check if you have any closed stores. Because you will see in a second, I don't have any closed stores, so I just wasted quite a bit of time here. But yeah, you want to bring up your pause menu to check if you have any closed stores. And as you guys can see, I don't have any closed stores. If you don't have any closed stores, just go ahead and find a new session, just like what I did here. But if you do already have closed stores, then that's just completely fine. You can just make it over to a closed store. But yeah, so if you don't have any, just find a new session, just like I have here. So then once you load into the session for the second time, you should definitely have closed doors. So as you guys can see, I have closed doors now. So I just want to go ahead and get a car off the street, or just call in a car. But I'm pretty sure you wouldn't have one, because it's just a new female. So just go ahead and rob a street car. Then you just want to go ahead and make your way over to any closed door. So I'm just going to make my way over to this closed door over here. It doesn't really matter what closed door you go to. But anyways, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get straight into the first component outfit. So for the first outfit, you want to go to the pants section and go down to utility pants. And then you want to go ahead and get number 37, which should be the black battle pants. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now you want to back out of that menu, go over to the top section. Now once you're the top section, top section, sorry, you want to go down to biker cars. So I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up here because it's quite far um, up. But you want to go to number 50, which is the patch darted vest. So that's number 50 out of 78, you just want to go ahead and buy that. So now once you've bought that, you want to make your way down over to the bikini section. So now once you're at the bikini section, you want to go to number 27, which should be the black bikini, and you want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you want to make your way over to the glove section. Not a glove section, sorry. First, um, for the glove section, you want to bring up your interaction menu, and go ahead and put on the heavy armor, which should be this green armor here. So you want to go ahead and equip that. I want you to equip that and make your way to the accessory section. Then you want to go down to the glove section and go down to number 12, which will be the light woodland tactical. So a lot of the um, numbers for that uh, components have changed because of the new update, so there's like a lot, a lot more clothes. So they used to be number 4, but now they're number 12. So yeah, once you've equipped them, you want to go ahead and save the alpha into the first section. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this Tron Top because it is for like to merge the Tron Top. So now for the second component, you want to make your way back over to the pan section. Go to sports pants and go to the sported muscle pants, which should be number one on the list. So now once you equip that, you want to back out and make your way to the top section again. So I'm not the top section, so you want to go to the shoe section. Then you want to go down to high heel boots. Well, not boots, sorry. Um, not high heel boots, sorry, boots. And then make your way over to the chocolate slack boots, I believe. Or the black slack boots. You want to go ahead and equip them. I accidentally messed it up here. I equipped the wrong ones. But you want to make sure you equip the black slack boots. So now once you've equipped them, you can just back out. Now you want to break the interaction, um, interaction menu real quick and go ahead and equip the armor again because it did take it off when we changed the bottoms. So now once you've equipped the armor, you can just go ahead and save this um, outfit to slot 2. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it as shoes because it's the shoes, um, the deadline shoe component. So now that is the two outfits done. So now you, um, these are the two outfits you should have right here. 
So they're, they're pretty much the same, just the different trousers. So now you want to go ahead and do the transfer glitch. So the first step for the transfer glitch is you want to take the easy way out. And what this will do, this will force a game save to just save the components we just made. So now once you've um, spawned back in from taking the easy way out, you're going to bring up your pause menu, go to online and go down to creator. So now once you're at creator, you're just going to go ahead and select it. Now just go ahead and wait until you load into it. So now once you load in, you want to go over to create a race. Then you want to go down to land race and this should take you back up to the sky and zoom back in. So now on the race details, the title and description can just be anything like a bunch of letters. But then for the photo, you can just take like a random photo of the sky. But now for the maximum players, you want to make sure that it's set to 2. And then the route type is point to point. You want to make sure them two are set to exactly that. Then you can just choose like any supercar you want, uh, just to like speed up the process. Now for the trigger location, you want to go ahead and warp over to the airport. So now once you walk over to the airport, you just want to wait to spawn at the airport. So now once you spawn, you can just copy what I do if you want to, just to make sure it works. Now for the lobby camera, just take another random photo. Now for the checkpoints, if you want, you can copy me or just cop um, copy what I roughly do. So you want to make the race length about 0.75. And just do the checkpoints along this like airstrip here. So as you guys can see, my race length is just about to be 0.75. I think I made it a little bit over. None of mind. I made it on 0.75. So just make sure it's 0.75 because that does work for me every time. So now once you've made um, the checkpoints, you want to go ahead and back out and test the race. So now you want to wait until you finish testing the race. So now once you've tested it, you'll get this alert on your screen. Just uh, go ahead and accept it. Then quickly bring up your pause menu, go to online, and select choose character. So now once you select the choose character, you just want to wait until you've loaded back into the choose character menu again. And now once you've loaded in, you want to go over to your second character and press square or um, X to delete it. So now you just want to go ahead and type in delete to delete the character. Now your two characters will walk back out again. And you want to make sure you don't mess this up. You want to make sure you back out to story mode and do not select your male character. Otherwise, it will mess up the whole entire glitch. So just back out to story mode just like I did here. So now this will just take a couple of seconds to load back in. So now once you load it back in, you just want to bring up your pause menu, go to online and go to play GT online and just start an invite only session. So I'll see you guys once I'm back into my session. So now once you're loading into a GTA 5 online session, you just want to make your way over to a wardrobe in your house or just make your way over to any clothes store to complete it, like, it doesn't really matter. So once you're at your wardrobe, just go ahead and save your outfit you have on so you don't lose it. I'm just going to go ahead and name it main because it's my main outfit. And you guys will probably recognise it's my main outfit because it is in a lot of my videos. So now you should see you have the two components, the trunk top and the shoes. So now once you have that on, you want to have that outfit on that has the CEO vest, so my main outfit here. Then you want to bring up your pause menu, go over to online. Go down to jobs, play job, rocks like created, go over to verses and scroll down to cricket cop. Now once you found cricket cop, you just want to go ahead and start that up. Now just wait until you load it into the mission. So now once you load it into the mission, it should take a couple of seconds. You want to go down to clothing and make sure that it's set to player owned. Now you just want to go ahead and confirm the settings and you want to get a friend to join or just wait for a random person to join. It, wouldn't, it shouldn't really take too long, but I just got a friend to join. So now once, um, once someone's joined your cookie cop, you just want to go ahead and launch the job and now wait till you load in. So now once you load in, you want to go down to owned outfit. Then you want to scroll um, twice to the right with your d-pad. So just write on the d-pad two times, then just ready up. And I should see the modded outfit here. So now you just want to wait until everyone in your um, cookie cop has readied up. So now once you load in, you just want to wait until this animation's done where you can start moving around. So now once you can move around, bring up your interaction menu the style accessories and equip a rebreather or an earpiece doesn't really matter just equip one of them then just quit the job using your phone so it should only take a couple of seconds then when you load back into gta online as well you should spawn right behind the ammunition store so once you spawned in you should see the ammunition store just around the corner so just make your way over to the front of that you can just go inside and save the outfit so now you, um, once you save the outfit you can just delete the two components so now that outfit is done guys but i'm going to show you how to get the helmet and the mask in the thumbnail so if you guys don't want to get that, then you can just click off the video here and you've got the outfit. But yeah, if you guys want to see how to get the mask and the helmet onto this outfit, then just stick around for a couple, like for an extra minute. It won't actually take too long. So the first step, you want to make your way over to the mask store at Vespucci Beach. 
And now you want to make sure you have the bulletproof helmet on. And then you want to go to Diamond Casino Heist and just scroll down until you find the um, mask. I can't remember what number it is, sorry. I think it's like number 60. Yes, yeah, number 60. The Yellow Swirl Leather Half Face. So you want to go ahead and equip that. It should be number 60. And as you can see, you don't actually have to merge it on with the helmet. It already comes on. So now that is done. So if you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And anyways, it's been your boy Perks, and peace.